Hey, this is Gary from 3Bug Media, and today we're gonna to talk about creating a lead generation sales funnel if you're a real estate agent. Now, traditionally, in the world of real estate, it was primarily a relationship-built type of industry. And for the most part, it still is. Uh, most real estate agents that I know or work with still get the majority of their leads and business from referrals, but there's more and more people turning to the internet to number one, do their research, and number two, find a real estate agent they can trust. Now, my experience is more buyers and sellers online, but they're both. They're both online if you're willing to go out and find them, okay? Now, most people think that you know for real estate, oh, everyone has a cousin, a neighbor, or a friend who's a real estate agent, so there's no way they're gonna use somebody new. But I can tell you from experience, there's lots and lots of people online who are looking for a new real estate agent. Either they had a bad experience with their last one, they don't wanna use their cousin or their neighbor because they don't trust them or they don't wanna mingle their personal business with their friends, uh, things like that. Or maybe there was a divorce or you moved to a new city or a new town. There's lots of reasons why people would wanna get a new real estate agent and they're out there and almost all of them are there online. Now, from my experience with working with real estate agents and being friends with quite a few real estate agents, what I know is that most of them do a very poor job of trying to get new leads when it comes to the internet. Uh, and the reason is, most of the time, they do the same thing that they do on their billboards, they do on their car wraps, they do you know, on their mailers that I'm the best agent in town, I'm the most trustworthy, I can sell your home the fastest, blah, 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 blah. It's totally meaningless for 99.9% .9 of the people out there. Uh, number one, everyone does the same exact thing. Every real estate agent is the best, every real estate agent is gonna work the hardest for you. So when everyone claims the same thing, then that claim is pretty much meaningless to somebody that does not know you. So what you need to do online when you're trying to get new leads for your real estate business is to show them value first. Show them value, prove to them that you can, you know, that you're gonna provide them value. Then you can start building a relationship, then you can start getting leads for your business. So what I'm gonna show you here is just a simple real estate funnel that you can set up. You can set this up in a day. It's not really hard, hard to do. Uh, there's a couple parts to it that we're gonna go over in a second. Uh, but this can be set up in a day. It's pretty easy and it can be tailored for both buyers and for sellers. Okay, so it's made up of a couple parts. You can have your landing page, your thank you page, and then a couple email autoresponders that you're gonna send out after somebody opts in to your email list. Okay, so let's start with the landing page. So you go out and you drive traffic to your landing page, whether that's social media, paid ads like Google AdWords, Facebook ads, you do email marketing, you do in-person events, it doesn't really matter. What you're gonna to wanna to do is you're gonna to wanna to drive people to your offer, okay? And so you're gonna set up a simple landing page on your website. And basically what that landing page is going to have on there, it's going to have a free offer, and here we call it a lead magnet. And in exchange for that lead magnet that they're gonna get, they're gonna give you their first name and email address, okay? One of the mistakes that people make, especially in real estate, is they'll make a quick offer like this and then they'll want all the information under the sun. First name, last name, address, city, what you're interested in, how much you wanna spend, blah, 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 blah. Uh, I can tell you from doing this for a very long time, every single time you ask for another piece of information, you are gonna lose a certain percentage of people who are going to opt in, okay? So if you just ask for an email, then you'll get, a, you know, say 100 opt-ins. If you ask for a phone number, that's probably gonna to drop to about 50, 40, 40 people. You know, if you ask for an address, anything like that, you're gonna whittle your way down to maybe one if you're lucky. So this case, you wanna keep your basket open as wide as possible. I like to ask for a first name, and an email, first name, so I can address people in my follow-up email correspondences by their first name on there, okay? And that's pretty much all the information you need right now, okay? So once somebody lands on this page, you're going to just make a quick offer, it just needs to be a couple sentences of the lead magnet you're going to offer them in exchange for their first name and email address. So it doesn't need to be long at all, it could be one or two sentences with a little opt-in box next to it. Uh, some things that have worked in the past that I've used 
And so I know they work is a buyer checklist or a seller checklist. So a simple one page printable, you know, PDF that's branded with your logo, your colors, your information on there that they can print off and they can write on. So if they're buying a, if they're buying a home, these are all the things that you need to be aware of and you need to make sure you have in place uh, when you're gonna start the buying process. Same thing for sellers. If you're gonna sell a home, here's a one page checklist you can print and it'll go over everything that you need to have ready uh, as far as gathering resources or doing things around your home uh, to get ready to sell your home. Uh, same thing, home evaluation checklist. So if you're a buyer, and I know this from personal experience, uh, you might go out and visit three or four homes on a Saturday afternoon, but by the time you get back, you don't remember what was the nice kitchen you really liked, what house that was in, which one had the terrible bathrooms, which one needed the floors uh, redone things like that. So if they can have a nice, you know, printable evaluation checklist they can take with them when they're doing their open houses, things like that, and they can start writing on them. So I like anything that's simple to make that people can print out and they can write on. It gives them utility, it gives them value. It's not just, you know, generic information that you're offering people, okay? So whatever you decide to do, I like the checklist format, uh, create a nice little checklist and they're going to opt in and download your offer. Okay, so the way it's gonna work is they're gonna opt in, they're gonna add their first name, email address. As soon as they do, they're gonna automatically be redirected to your thank you page. All email marketing programs offer this feature when somebody opts in. You can just set the URL where you wanna send people once they click the submit button, okay? Once they land on this thank you page, what you're going to do is you're gonna give them the link so they can download whatever it is you are offering them on the landing page, okay? But you're also going to thank them and you're gonna let them know a little bit about you and how you can help them, okay? So the first thing we're offering people is the lead magnet. The second thing we're offering them is our secondary offer, which is your offer to do some customized help for them. So pretty much get them as a client, okay? The format that I like the best, that works the best, is a quick 20 to 30 second video. They opt in on your landing page, they, they land on your thank you page, there's a quick 20, 30 second video that says thank you so much for you know, downloading the checklist, I hope you find it valuable. If you have any questions using it or anything like that, feel free to contact me, my information's right below. And if, you, you know, if you're interested in buying a home and you want me to set, I can set up a custom you know, uh, MLS feed for you with the exact criteria that you're looking for. And there's also some listings that you may not find online that I can find for you. Uh, so if you're interested in that, you can just fill out you know, your information below, maybe put a contact form on there, or just put your email address or phone number or something like that. So you're gonna make your offer to help them. This is gonna be your secondary offer, which is your offer pretty much to try to land them as a client, okay? After that, what's going to happen is now that you have their email address, you have their email address in your email marketing program, you're gonna set up what's called an autoresponder. And this autoresponder sequence can be three emails, can be four, five, could be 10. It depends on you know how much time you wanna spend adding content on there. But I'm gonna give you an example of a three email sequence that you can use. So once somebody opts in, what I would do is automatically send them their first email either instantly or within a couple hours. And basically what you're gonna do with this first email is you're going to reiterate everything you said on the thank you page and you're gonna include a link to the download that you offered as well. So just in case somebody went to the thank you page, they forgot to download it and they left and they can't get back there, or the page you know, failed to load or whatever the problem was that they didn't end up downloading the checklist, you're gonna send a follow-up email with the same thank you message, the same offer, and the download link to the checklist or offer, whatever the offer is gonna be for them, okay? Then what you're gonna do is you're gonna wait two, three days, send out another email to them. And same thing, you're gonna do a follow-up, ask them how things are going with the checklist, if they have questions about it, things like that, feel free to contact me. And also reiterate your offer to do some custom help for them, whether that's buying or selling a home, you can do the legwork for them, things like that, okay? And then 
three, you know, email number three and whatever you want to add on there. Kind of the same thing. You want to add some value, checking in, and kind of reiterate your offer to them. Okay. The way the email responder uh, is set up, if you're not familiar with it, all email marketing programs pretty much have this in place. So you just set a criteria. If somebody, you know, if somebody opts in and they go onto a specific list, I want it to automatically trigger this email sequence that I created beforehand at a predetermined time. So as soon as they go on the list, email number one goes out one hour after they get added to the list. Email number two gets sent out two days after the first email went out and email number three goes out, you know, three days after the second email went out and so on and so forth. So once you set this up once, you don't have to do a thing. All you need to do is feed people to this landing page and then the funnel you set up does all the work for you. Okay. So you don't need to do your follow up emails. You don't need to do any of this stuff. You only need to set it up once your sole job at that point, once you have this funnel set up is to feed people into your funnel by any means that you can. Okay. And then what you do is over time, once you start getting, you know, a decent amount of traffic that you're sending to your landing page, then you can start looking at your offer. Maybe your conversion rate for people landing on the page to opting in isn't that high. Then what you can do is you start, you know, maybe change your checklist, change your uh, lead magnet, swap them out, and then you can start doing some testing. And what will happen is over time, if you kind of continually test these emails, you test your lead magnet, things like that over time, it's going to get slightly better, slightly better every month where a year from now or a couple months from now, your conversion rates are going to start to steadily go up. Okay. So this is a simple funnel you can set up. I highly recommend you take a little bit more time and set up something like this rather than the typical, you know, online ad saying you're the greatest and go straight for, you know, sign me up as a client because it really doesn't work. I know from experience, it doesn't work. If people don't know you, they don't trust you yet. You haven't given them value. It's very unlikely they're going to automatically sign on to become your client. You need to give them some value first. Okay. Once you can demonstrate your value, then you start to earn the right to start asking them to do more things in a relationship type manner. Okay, so if you have any questions with this, uh, you can go to 3bugmedia.com. Uh, and just one last note on there, when you have your landing page, just put a little disclaimer underneath your opt-in box and just say, you know, by opting, you know, by uh, submitting this form, uh, you're opting into my email list. Okay, just so people don't get bent out of shape, uh, you're letting them know that by doing this, you're gonna go onto my email list and now you're given permission to start sending them some more promotional you know, promotional emails. Okay. Uh, thank you very much and have a good day.